Hey everyone, welcome to Excel Insider. Today I will show you 8 different ways to calculate overdue days using Microsoft Excel 365. For this video, we have a list of task names with their due dates. The goal is to calculate how many days past the deadline each submission was made and display the results in the overdue days column. Let's dive in. Important note, before calculating overdue dates, it's important to make sure Excel recognizes dates properly. If dates aren't formatted correctly, formulas may give wrong or unexpected results. Let's format the dates. First, go to the Home tab. In Number section, click on Launch icon. This opens up Format Cells window. In the Number tab, choose date under type choose your preferred format in this case this is the format i prefer hit ok now the dates are formatted let's get into the first method in first method we will calculate overdue days by finding the difference between the current date and the due date using today function Today function returns the current date. This method works well when only the due date is available, giving a quick view of which tasks are late. First, in a helper cell of your choice, in this case I'll go for cell D2, type this formula, equals today, close the bracket, subtract the due date, which is cell C2. Let's understand the formula. Today function returns today's date and subtracting the due date, which is cell C2, gives the number of days past the deadline. Hit enter and this gives us a date. To change that, click on the cell, head to the number section, in the drop down, select general. This changes the format from date to general. Now drag down on the corner to autofill. There it is. The column now shows how many days have passed since each due date. Task not yet due appears as negative numbers highlighting future deadlines. Let's move to the next method. In second method, we will calculate the difference between the due date and the actual submission date. This is ideal when both dates are recorded showing exactly how late each task was. In a helper cell of your choice, in this case, I will go for cell E2, type this formula, equals submission date, which is cell D2, minus the due date which is cell c2 subtracting c2 from d2 gives the total days late hit enter double click on the autofill handle to fill the rest there it is the column clearly displays the number of days each submission was overdue making it easy to spot tasks completed late let's check out the third method in third method, we will use the days function to get a direct day difference between two dates, simplifying manual subtraction. This is useful for consistent results, especially in large datasets. Days function returns the number of days between two dates. Let's see how to do it. For this method, I'll go for cell E2, you may choose any of your choice, and type this formula, equals days function, in the first argument, select the end date, which is submission date, cell D2, comma, the start date, which is due date, cell C2. Close the bracket and press enter. Drag down the autofill handle to fill the rest. The overdue dates appear cleanly as numbers. It feels very organized, especially for data sets with multiple rows. Let's move on to the fourth method. In fourth method, we will calculate exact number of days between two dates using dated if function. This function allows precise date counting and can be extended for months or years if needed. In any empty cell, this time I'll go for cell E2. Type this formula equals dated if open parenthesis. The dated if formula doesn't show in the menu list as this is an undocumented Excel formula but still we can use it. So let's continue. For the first argument, we will choose the starting date, which is C2, comma, the submission date, which is cell D2, comma, in double apostrophes, type D. D 
tells Excel to return only the number of days. Close the bracket. Press Enter. There it is. Double click on the autofill handle to fill the rest of the cells. The results give the exact number of days overdue, making it easy to compare which tasks are significantly late. Next, on to the fifth method. In fifth function, I will use the max function to stop negative numbers from appearing when tasks aren't overdue. This ensures the column only shows overdue days or zero. Max function returns the largest value in a set of values. To get started, in an empty cell of your choice, type this formula equals max. In the first argument, type 0, comma, the submission date minus the due date, which is cell D2 minus cell C2. Close the bracket. Let me explain. The formula compares the calculation of overdue days with 0. If the result is negative, max returns 0 and hit enter. Pull down the autofill handle to fill the rest of the cells. Tasks not yet due are now displayed as 0. Keeping the column clean and avoiding confusion with negative numbers. Let's move on to the sixth method. In sixth method, we will calculate overdue days excluding weekends using network days function. This method focuses on actual workdays which is helpful for team reporting or project track. Network days function returns the number of whole working days between two dates. Here's how to do it. Let's use cell E2 for this method. Type this formula equals net workdays. In first argument, type the start date, which is the due date, cell C2, comma, the end date, which is the submission date, cell D2. Now close the bracket and hit enter. Double click on the autofill handle to fill the rest of the cells. The column now reflects the number of working days each task was overdue. Weekends are ignored, making the calculation more realistic for office schedules. On to the seventh method. In seventh method, we will ensure only overdue tasks show a number, while tasks not yet due display zero. This approach gives a clearer picture of late tasks without negative numbers. For this method, I'll be using if function. If function returns one value if a condition is true, and another value if it's false. Let's jump right in. In a helper cell of your choice, in this case, I'll go for cell E2. Type this formula. Let's see what's happening in here. The formula checks if the task is overdue. In the first argument, is the condition that checks if the cell D2, which is submission date, is greater than the cell D2, which is due date. If the condition is true, then it calculates overdue days by subtracting cell C2 from cell D2. If the condition is false, it simply returns 0. Hit enter. Drag down to autofill the rest. And that's it. The column highlights the late task with numbers while upcoming task remains at 0, making overdue tasks stand out visually. Let's move on to the final method. In the final method, I will display overdue days with descriptive and customized text. This method makes the report more readable and user-friendly. Let's get into it. I will go for cell E2, but you may choose any other empty cells. Type this formula. Let's understand the formula. Similar to the previous method, the formula checks if the task is late. In first argument, it sets a condition that checks if the submission date, which is cell D2, is greater than cell C2, which is due date. If so, it combines the number of overdue days with the text days overdue. And if the condition is false, it displays the text not yet due. Press Enter. Double click on autofill handle to fill the rest. The column now communicates the overdue information in plain language, making it instantly understandable without needing to interpret numbers. And that's a wrap. Eight different ways to calculate overdue days in Excel 365. Download the workbook link below. Visit excelinsider.com for more Excel and Google Sheet tutorials. 
feel free to comment your question and feedback. Thanks for watching. See you next time.